Okay, so this is problem number three of chapter six. And we are given, well, let's see what does it say. This is the voltage. Um, this voltage is shown here. So from zero to two milliseconds is five volts. And then from uh, two milliseconds on is zero volts. Uh, five millivolts. And we want to find I uh, for part A. And then we want to sketch I for part B. So for part A, we have to um, recall that the current through the inductor, the formula for the current through the inductor is given by 1 over inductance, T0 to T, um, V of T plus initial current. And that's the formula for the uh, current through the inductor. And I forgot to mention that we are given, it's given, we're told that current through the inductor is zero for a time less than zero. So that is zero. And this then is just one over 200 microhenries. And from, we go from zero to T, and the voltage is going to be uh, from zero to two is um, five times 10 to negative 3 dt. That's for that part. Now we'll have to do a second part of a formula for here, for that part. So when you put that into your calculator, you should get 1 over 200 microhenries. Um, 0 goes away, so it just becomes 5 times 10 to the minus 3 t. Second part is 0. Um, so then you should just end up with 25 T amps. So that's the first part of the general equation for current. And now we have to figure out for the rest of it. So I L of T is 25 T amps for T from 0 to 2 milliseconds. The second part, the formula doesn't change, but we could use this whole formula, or we could just plug in two milliseconds at um, for there. But let's just go through and do this formula because it's general and it always works. We go one over two hundred microhenries, so from two milliseconds. To fit to T, and the voltage is zero, zero volts, right? Because we can see that on the on the graph. So zero volts, zero d T plus I L of the initial starting point, which is going to be two milliseconds. And this is going to be just zero. And this is going to be plug two milliseconds into that. And you end up with 50 million amps. So, so then IL of T, it's a piecewise function, which is from zero to two milliseconds is 25 T amps. And then from, um, 50 milliamps from 2 milliseconds to infinity. Okay, so that's a pretty easy piecewise function to um, to graph because it's a straight line, so and it's not a sinusoid. And so we have current here. And we know it's going to top out at 50 milliamps. So here we have milliamps, here we have milliseconds, and something happens at 2 milliseconds. Um, so from 2 milliseconds on, we're going to be at this point, and it's going to be a straight line. So, because it's just a linear, your current function in this case is just a linear function. And then from 2 on, it's 15 milliseconds. 
Okay? And that's the answer to problem number three.